welcome to Corporal's Corner. Today we're doing a solo overnighter using the Backwoods Bungalow by One Tigress. So stick around with an outstanding show coming up. Fact, I'm not a fan of car camping or tent camping for two reasons. First off, I'm old and I no longer like sleeping on the ground. But number two, and most importantly, it's been my experience that most tents are bulky and I can get a good hammock and a tarp that will take up the same amount of room as a tent, if not less, and I'm smoothing it. So I'm going with option two every chance I get. However, with that said, I do believe that there's a time and a place for tent camping. I also believe that every American should own a tent and experience the great outdoors in that manner. Now, hypothetically, if I were to own a tent, I want something that's versatile, something I can take out with me that's small, compact, lightweight, that I can use with trees or without trees, meaning it can stand alone. So with that, I was out in search and I found a one tigress backwoods bungalow. Let's go ahead and check that baby out. The Backwoods Bungalow 2.0 comes with a stuff sack, six guidelines, and 10 aluminum tent stakes. This is actually pretty cool. There's plenty of room in here for me and my gear. Check this out. Just like Doctor Who's TARDIS, this thing truly is bigger on the inside. We're looking at seven and a half feet long, about three and a half to four foot width, and three and a half foot tall. I'm sitting up right now, and there's plenty of room. Now, let's talk about some of the key features. Towards the back, we have a mesh vent flap, which will keep condensation out and the rain from coming in. On the top, we have a hook to hang a light We have a mesh screen here in the front. All you gotta do, undo your elastic toggle system. And zip it up. You got YKK zippers holding this bad boy together. And it's waterproof 
using 75 denier ripstop nylon. Outstanding. So far so good, we're looking outstanding. Now let's go ahead and take that shelter and use our quick deploy ridge line. For those of you that aren't familiar with this, click on the icon at the top of the screen to take you that video. Let me know what you think. Or I'm liking that. Looks pretty good to go. However, I'm still on the ground. So to fix that, I brought my Ecotech Four Seasons sleeping pad. That's what I'm talking about. Really dig in option number two. Option two meaning the ridgeline system. I'm already carrying that quick deploy ridgeline along with my tarp. It's part of my 10 C's. This way I'm inconveniently camping. So I already have that. It's the core of my kit. It's the core of every single kit. So why not carry some type of shelter system like this along with a mat in your vehicle? I'm going to. Now the shelter itself weighs around three pounds and the mat is four seasons. It's rated for 10 degrees Fahrenheit and weighs 24 ounces. Combined along with the aluminum stakes, it's five pounds. Some people will say, oh hell nah. Some people will say, hey, that sounds about right. So. Pick your poison. But for me, tossing this into a vehicle gives me another healthy option. Now let's talk about one last key feature. We have wings right here on both sides. So I can drop that front down and zip it up and it will give me an extra 14 to 15 inches here to place my boots out here, extra gear, water, etc. and it's out of my way. So plan for tonight, get some dinner, and then hunker down. Coals all scraped up here. Perfect.
Perfect. At some point, I'm probably gonna die, but not today. Oh, that's good. So I'm gonna try and save that bacon grease. I have an idea for something special tonight, and we'll try it, and we'll go live. If I burn it, I burn it, but at least I've tried it. So I won't give too much away. And then tomorrow morning we'll have bacon and eggs. So this is good. Wow. Hashtag America. Mm. Mm -mm. That spot. Okay, so we're inside the bungalow. Now before it gets too dark, I want you to check out the extra space that you have. I went in and dropped that flap down. Check this out. So to give you an idea, there's my boots right there. And still got a good five to six inches. So we're looking at probably about 18 inches of room out in front there. Outstanding. Truth be told, I was going to wait till dark to try this, but I'm excited. And if something goes wrong, I prefer to have some light out here so I can see what I'm doing. Bacon grease going. Try and get some low heat. And pop cool. Look at that.
No. Uh -oh. I think I used too much. Nah. Oh, I'm like bacon flavored popcorn. Oh man. It's actually good. Once again, I love it when a plan comes together. Butter, bacon, can't go wrong. Nothing like dinner in a movie. Mm. Tabasco. That's what I'm talking about. Bacon, butter, Tabasco. Crunchy part of the popcorn, the kernel. Mmm, love it. Tell you what, I'm gonna finish my popcorn, finish that movie, I'm hitting the rack.
Oh man. Tell you what. I didn't want to get up this morning. I was comfortable in here. This uh, insulated pad gives me renewed hope. So I can do this. Really enjoyed this. All right, so breakfast. Comfortable. Mm. Get that in that yolk. So check it out. I've been doing a lot of thinking, and next time I come out here, I bring something healthy. Not. Mm. Maybe add some potatoes, onions to this, or some tots. It's really good. Tender, chewy, get crispy. The smell of America in the morning. Mm-mm.
Welcome back. Last night was outstanding, but most importantly, I was comfortable. Let's go ahead and do a quick after action report, starting with the shelter. At the very beginning of this video, I mentioned that I wasn't a fan of tent camping because I don't like sleeping on the ground and dealing with some type of tent that takes up more room than a hammock. After last night, I'm gonna change my mind. I was very comfortable, I'm very happy, I'm very pleased. The one chief complaint still remains though. At the very top of the shelter, you have reinforced loops and I prefer them to be reinforced grommets. I think that it would hold the tent poles or trekking poles or branches or even attached to a ridge line a hell of a lot easier. That's just my two cents. Still good to go. Now the sleeping pad. It claimed it was four seasons, rated for 10 degrees Fahrenheit, and it's inflatable. So I was skeptical. Last night it dipped down to 28. I thought it was gonna be 38. And I checked it about two o'clock in the morning. It was 28 degrees. And I didn't feel any rocks or sticks digging in my back. I felt no conduction or my body contact with that cold ground, whisking that body heat off me. And most importantly, when I rolled to my side, my hips weren't digging into the ground. So I'm very happy with that as well. Both those items are gonna find their way in my vehicle and they have a permanent home in my vehicle. And I look forward to using them again. So as always, all the gear in this video can be found on my Amazon influencer page. I'll toss that link inside the description box. Please do me that favor, hit that like and subscribe button, then ring that notification bell. Once you ring that bell, please select all notifications. And as always, thank you for your comments, views, and support. Thanks for watching. Get out in the field, have some fun. I'm gonna catch you next time.